Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you some tips and tricks, an easy way to fix tiny little holes like these on your drywall caused by drywall anchors that you ended up pulling out, nails, uh, various screws, and any type of holes like that. And I'll be showing you how to fix them easily, so stay tuned. So friends, my name is Jay. I am from Fix This House. Thank you so much for your continued support. We have reached over 2,000 subscribers already in this channel and we're just continue to grow. Thank you so much for your continued support. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So friends, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because I post content like this, how-to videos, DIYs, and product reviews just like this every week. So if you're interested in that, please drop also an early thumbs up for this video. It will greatly help me for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. So with that being said, let's get to it and I'll show you how to fix these holes. So as you can see here, friends, I made this drywall mock-up for you guys so I can show you various types of situations that you can do with your drywall. And I purposely made all these holes and inserted these drywall anchors and nails and screws. Also made this hole right here so that I can show you how to repair bigger holes like those that are bigger than half inch holes. Technically, I can just pretty much cut a square right here and fix every damage here all at once easily. But due to instructional purposes, I wanna show you guys how to fix every single one of these situations. There are different types of anchors that I've set up for you guys. So here is a, a type of anchor where you just pretty much use a Phillips head screwdriver and you can just pretty much screw these in just like that. So once you take this out, you'll end up having a hole like this and same for all three. So this is about an inch hole that we're gonna fix later today as well. And these are little tiny little anchors that are caused by these. Just say you have a picture frame and you don't want that picture frame there anymore. You take it out and you'll end up with a hole like that. Anchors like these, I'll show you how to take this anchor off and this anchor with a screw and these nails and little tiny nails like these as well. To take this type of anchor off, it's fairly easy. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. This is actually one of my favorite drywall anchors because they're easy to install and they're a lot more sturdier. So pretty easy. Same thing here, if it's out, you can just twist it just like that and it'll fall off. For these anchors, they pretty much look like these. When, they're, when they are inserted through the wall, they expand after you put a type of screw through them. So when you put this screw all the way through, see how it expands like that? So if you try to pull this out, it's, it's, it is very hard to pull out. Now for situations like these, right here, you only wanna put the screw halfway in because if you try to put it all through, this thing will flare out and it's gonna be very hard to take off. So what I suggest is just insert the screw halfway and then with a hammer, just pretty much pull it off. So I'll show that to you right now. To take off these type of anchors, just find any screw lying around the house. This one is a drywall screw. Um, it perfectly fits around the diameter of this anchor. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna screw it halfway through. You don't wanna go through all the way through the anchor because it's gonna spread and flare out that anchor behind the drywall which make it a, which will make it a lot difficult to take out. So right when you have it on halfway like that, take a hammer and pretty much pull it off easy like that. Now same thing goes with this one. If this, if your screw is all the way through like that and you know that the length of this is pretty long, try to take it out just like that first before you actually pull it off all the way through and just take your hammer and pull it out like that. I actually pulled it off a little too early but I think you get the picture. If you don't have a screw available and you want to take off an anchor, an easy way to do it is just find a needle nose tip pliers like this, insert it through like that gently. Um, don't go all the way through because you might end up poking uh, your drywall just like this. You don't want to be rough because you'll end up doing this. Um, so just be gentle. Go like this, get it from the tip and just easily wiggle and shake it out and it should come off just like that. Now for nails like these, most of the time it is nailed onto a stud which is going to make it a lot difficult because if you try to actually pull this off with uh, your hammer, 
like this, you could actually end up damaging the drywall in here, which will actually sink the part where you're putting the pressure of the hammer. If you have a handheld hacksaw like this, you can easily just use the hacksaw and slowly just go back and forth until it comes off. But if you don't have something like this, another way that you can do it is get your pliers just like this one. Grab the nail and twist it back and forth to loosen it. Work your way and then you can pull it off like that. Now if that doesn't work, so let me just show you an example. So I'll actually nail this piece onto a stud. Here's another option. Take a two by four or any type of piece of wood and you're gonna use this as a leverage to pull this out without damaging the drywall underneath it because if you just leave it like this you're gonna end up pushing this drywall in making more damage to the drywall. Now get a piece of wood and just pull it off like this. There you go. Easy. For smaller nails like this, a good trick on taking those off is just getting vice grips. Go like this and you can just wiggle it off and you should come out like that. Now that's only recommended for little tiny nails like these ones. So there you have it friends. I showed you all the tips and tricks that you can do to take off the nails, take off the little anchors different types of anchors and screws that are penetrated through your drywall. Now let, let me show you how to patch tiny little holes like these, this size up to one inch to half inch holes like these. So let's first start off with the nail holes. So these holes are actually less than an eighth of an inch this one's about a quarter inch hole. Take your drywall knife like this or a paint scraper or any of that of sort and just, you know, even out, even out the hole. You know, take off any of the loose debris like that. Okay, now take some of your joint compound. Now what I'm using here is a uh, little tiny paint scraper and just feather it in just like that. Very easy. Okay. Now there is a possibility that this joint compound will shrink. So what you can do is you add a little, make it, make the top a little bit thicker so that when it dries out, it will even out with the surface. So right when this dries up, you can just use 120 grit sandpaper and just sand it off. Scrape off any of this. Scrape off anything that gets in the way like that, clean it off. Then take your joint compound and then just run it. Just like that. easy as that okay so it, you're gonna get bubbling like this it looks like it's actually bubbled out but when this dries it will actually sink in a little bit so what you want to do is you want to go back over it the second time after it dries and then reapply a second coat and then you can use dry you can then you can use your sandpaper and then smooth it out and then it should be ready for any texture or paint i'm going to cover this one differently this is about an inch diameter hole right here. So I'm gonna move this on a separate area for you guys. So let me make a different um, area for that so that I can show you guys how to fix something like that. So this hole damage is about an inch diameter. Now to fix something like this, you wanna take um, mesh tape. So if you have any drywall mesh tape like this, this is what you, this is perfect for fixing bigger holes like this. So just lay it over like that. Take your drywall knife and cut it like so. 
and that's it it should stick just like that and then clean up all the edge like that then take some of your joint compound or spackle and just go over it you will start seeing some of that mesh tape um, popping out like that so what you're gonna do is after this one we're gonna put a second coat again third coat and then we're gonna sand it down so that it will sit nice and flush and it will bury all that grid lines from the mesh tape if you have a hole that is over an inch like this and it's it's about like three inch wide four inch and up I made a specific video on that I'll leave it on the link up here on how to fix something like that using the California patch so check out that video I made on how to fix that because that's an actually easier way to fix those bigger holes that are over an inch wide now when you're ready to sand this what I usually use is 120 grit to 100 um, grit sandpaper with my sanding block I just put this over it like this and then sand away like so I like using the sanding block because it's nice and soft and it actually goes with the contour of the wall whichever because not all drywalls are perfectly flat there's a lot of rounds and lots of valleys and dips that you, you can't see with the naked eyes using the spongy sander right here on top of the on top of the sandpaper will actually conform with the contour which is why I like using this now again all the tools that I use on this video, I'll leave it on the description down below so you can easily find them. And if you wanna buy them, I'll leave it on the description below. So here's a thought that might pop up that you're probably wondering, and you might ask, hey Jay, is it possible that we use caulking to fill these tiny little holes, even if it goes up to one inch? I mean, to be honest with you guys, I don't see anything wrong with using caulking to fill any of these holes. But the problem with the the problem with caulking is that it shrinks and some of the paints that you're using it won't adhere to the caulking and it pretty much if you're trying to match your wall and you use caulking and you try to paint over it the color will look differently and it will stick out and you'll notice and you'll it'll be really really noticeable that you actually have a hole there rather than using joint compound feathering it in and actually sanding it and making it feathered and even with the surface i think drywall compound is actually the best way to fix these holes now there are instances where you can use the caulking to fix tiny little repairs now if you have little tiny pinholes like the one that we have here just like that little tiny nail that we used to take out right here now those are an exception you can use caulking for those because those are so tiny that even if you, you do use caulking it'll probably just blend in with your texture and it won't look so noticeable and another way that you can use caulking is for low traffic areas let's just say you have a hole behind a desk drawer you have a hole that you want to fix behind your 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 washer or dryer or somewhere right below the but the baseboard where nobody can see it not much people travel over it and see it like whoa it's right there then you can use caulking like that to quickly fix it just boom boom in and out and you're done in less than a few seconds and you don't have to worry about it but for something like aesthetic like this that's going to be out there where it's going to be seen by a lot of people i highly suggest guys that you go and use joint compound it works 100 percent at the time and it looks 100 percent better at the time and paint will adhere to it much much better so once again friends i hope you found this video super helpful if you found it helpful and you found any value to it and if i helped you out in any way please hit that like button down below and please press that subscribe and notification bell as well so you can always be in tune on diys how-to videos little tiny projects like these product reviews on these videos because i will be having more to come and i have a lot more to show you look tips and tricks just like these and once again i thank each and every one of you for allowing this channel to grow up to 2,000 subscribers we're on our way to 5,000 subscriber guys so i will do my best i post videos like these every single week sometimes two or three a week so stay tuned because i will have more stuff for you thank you so much happy new year be safe i'll see you on the next video